What's up, boys and girls? My name's Mr. Jonathan, and welcome to the Wall of Weird! 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 And weird. that's Mr. Will. Who are they? Why are they staring at me? It, it's okay, buddy. Just calm down. Those are all of our friends from the zone. We were actually just about to get started with our Bible story, and you came at the perfect time. Maybe you can help me out? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. That's super easy. Okay, cool. So far, we've learned that weird just means different. And God is weird, which means that weird is good. And we're made in the image of God, which means that we're weird. But raise your hand if you don't really understand how you being different is helping anyone else out. I mean, what if my different, my weird, is actually causing more harm than good? Well, good thing that God gives us examples in the Bible about how our different can help the people around us. Wait, so you're saying I'm helping out right now? Actually, yeah. Let me explain. So in today's Bible story, we're going to be talking about Moses. Can you guys shout Moses? Moses! 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 Moses. Yeah, Moses. He had some really weird things happen to him. God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. That doesn't happen every day. And he was explaining to him how he was going to help set Israelite free from Egypt. And he also told Moses that no matter what, he would never leave his side. But throughout the whole thing, Moses had one simple thing on his mind and he couldn't get it out. Mr. Will, do you remember what that thing was? Uh, erg, boop. Actually, yes. Moses had trouble with words. He had trouble speaking. Exodus 4.10 says that Moses pleaded with the Lord saying, Oh Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you've spoken to me, I get tongue-tied and my words get tangled. What are you doing? It's been tied my tongue all over. No, 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 that's not what I... Never mind. Moses was a really strong leader, and his problem with speaking was giving him a lot of trouble. So after trying to convince God to send someone else instead of him, God allowed Moses to bring along his brother, Aaron, so that Aaron could speak and Moses could lead. Yo, 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 <laughs> I figured it out, okay? So Moses needed Aaron because Aaron can speak well. Yes. Aaron needed Moses because Moses could lead well. Yes. Okay, now I might sound crazy, you may not believe me, but I think that they might be different. Yes, yes, Will. Yes, they are. You see, although they were different, God was able to take both of their talents and put them together to do some pretty great things. I mean, they were able to lead and talk the Israelites out of Egypt and begin to take them to the promised land. So let's go ahead and take a look at 1 Corinthians 12, 12. Let me grab my Bible. Wait. Mr. Will, again? What? What? I, I just figured that if I ate it, then it would stay with me forever and I wouldn't have to carry the Bible around anymore. No, no, that's that's not how it works. Give it, give it here. Wait, no, no just let me, get, no. Okay, no. okay. Okay, so we're gonna be turning to 1 Corinthians 12, 12. Open the Bible directly down the center, then take your left hand and open it up one more time down the center, and then take that half on the far right side and open it up again in the center one more time and you'll be right at 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 says, the human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. I would have memorized that Bible verse if you would have just let me eat the Bible. No, Mr. Will, that's not how it, you know, never mind, it's not how it works. So boys and girls, go ahead and sit up straight and tall and let's think about that Bible verse we just got done reading. We have eyes, a mouth, feet, ears, a nose, all different parts of the same body and do different things. That's not true. My ears can do the same thing that my eyes can do. Watch. <laughs> okay. How many fingers do I have up? Uh, uh, t t 12. Yeah, Mr. Will, you're right. <laughs> no, Oh, no. Your eyes can't eat food the way that your mouth can. Your hands can't walk like your feet can. And your ears don't see things like your eyes can. In fact, that's just like us. 
Romans 12, 6 says, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. Boys and girls, so be happy about all the weirdness about you. Don't be embarrassed because you're not like all the other kids, like all the other boys and girls out there. God made you the way that you are, and he loves all the weird that you bring. In fact, the world needs the weird that you have to offer. And that's why I love having Mr. Will here with me. What, do you really mean that? Yeah, I mean, I get I get really nervous speaking in front of like really large crowds, and you help me to stay calm and stay focused. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! It's so sweet of you, man. <laughs> yeah. So God doesn't make mistakes, and He definitely didn't make a mistake with you. He made you perfectly the way that He wanted in His image. So let's show God how much we love and appreciate all of the weirdness that He's given us by doing our big idea. Mr. Will, can you count us down? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, everybody, onto your feet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you in the back. Yep. Stand on up. Okay, ready? Let's do this. In three, two, one. Make, make a, a difference. difference. With your different. <laughs> <laughs>